23. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that voice would come out of me. It kind of scared me. Dave and Jeff are here. We're going to learn how to make some Halloween cocktails. Welcome back, gentlemen. How are you? Thank I'm you great. so much. Thank you. You know what we're doing at Brandywine this year is that we're kind of dressing up our cocktails mm -hmm. for Halloween. So the first one we're going to do is the Pirate's Blood. Ooh. So Dave's going to pour in a little bit of amber rum, 1.5 ounces, okay. approximately. Any amber rum will do for that. Uh, you know, we're going to add a little bit of lime juice to there. So Ooh, we'll get, let me add it. Let oh, me yeah. add it. Yeah. Yeah. And a little bit of ginger liqueur. I need the confidence to do this by myself later. Nice. All right, need a little stir? No, we're, we're going to shake this shake one, this one actually. Ooh. Let's stir yeah. the next one. All right. Oh, oh. I just got stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. That's Love in the it. Halloween spirit. Your garnishes <laughs> of all different sorts. So we're also going to put a tiny rinse of orange liqueur in here, just a little bit. You don't have to add a lot, but that's going to balance the flavors out. So we've got lime, ginger, rum. Yeah. And then we're just going to strain that off into the orange liqueur. And then if you want to add a little bit of that bitters. Take that, put a little dash on top of there. All so right. that's an Angostura bitters. It's a. How, how much? Just, just a it? couple of drops make it simulate blood. Yeah. Oh. A couple yeah. more, a couple more, a couple more. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, it. Don't be afraid. There Don't be is. afraid of the blood. Yeah, There's there the go. pirate's blood. And what does this taste top. like? What's the taste of that? It's really beautiful. It's kind of got a nice aromatic wow, herbal. Go have a taste. Yeah. yeah. Herbal flavor with like clove and ginger because it's coming from the ginger liqueur and then you get the cloves from the bitters. What mm. do you think? Well, I think that I've marked this as my own with my lipstick. Okay. So now I know All right. That I have moving to look on. It's to always nice show. to put a little garnish on it too, just oh, to give it an extra flair. That so is incredibly fresh tasting, gentlemen. I love it. Awesome. So this next one is actually a play on Black Russian, and uh, Black Russian is white. Uh, sorry, is vodka with a bit of Kahlua. But instead, we're going to use dark rum. So it's just equal parts of dark rum and Kahlua. And does this drink have a spooky title for Halloween? It's called the Black Bat. Ooh. Give it a quick stir. So take, just okay. Use that. Just give it a quick one too. Just help to mix the ingredients together. That's also going to lower the alcohol volume, right? By melting in the ice. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, it brings course. it down a little bit. Alcohol by, alcohol by volume drops, and that makes it a little easier to drink. And then we'll just put a little more ice to top it up because when you stir it it does reduce the ice a little bit so you want that to be full of ice so that it doesn't get cold too quickly and then we can just insert our garnish on there so that's not too much ice to put into a drink no 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 not wow. at all okay learning something new here let's put this one over here yeah, too yeah, sure nice. that one. remember this one's marked with my lipstick it's mine <laughs> it's definitely yours you liked it you, you like those matters. warm flavors right i do i, lo I love the fruity the fruity is really great. Right. So we're going to use a little bit of cassis in this next drink. So this is a black currant liqueur, and we're just going to pour a little bit to create a layer at the bottom. This drink is called the Red Devil. Ooh, okay. And then yeah. a little bit of the uh, tequila. If tequila is your thing, this is a great drink. This can also be made non-alcoholic yeah. by just adding like a Rabina uh, in the bottom. And then we'll get you to put some grapefruit juice into there. So this is okay. a fresh squeezed red ruby grapefruit juice that's going to give it the Red Devil. And just right about there, that's good. And then you'll see this ginger beer to your right there. Oh, I love yeah. ginger this beer. This is the best part of the drink. So Great. Toss some Top ginger it up. beer in there. And okay. then a little more ice. So leave a little bit of room for some ice in there. And also just a tiny bit of fresh lime juice. It's important that you add that balancing. Uh, you want to add a little bit more of that kind of sour flavor. Or else the drink might be a little too sweet. And then more ice on top. The tall drinks will take a straw for sure. Um, just to make it a little bit user friendly. And here's the best part. And this is a little bit of the horns, just so we'll just apply those on there and let those be for the devil's horns. So this is incredibly attractive as a Halloween piece, especially yeah. with the devil theme, but worthy of note here, those are incredibly spicy. Yes. So just have them as a bit of a decorative part That's of your right. drink. Yeah. There's a bird's eye chili, so bird's it's very chili. hot. Really hot. Can I just bypass yeah, everything? Can yeah, I sip yeah. this one and mark it as well? Thank you yes. so much for joining us, gentlemen. Happy Halloween. Great ideas all going up at breakfasttelevision.ca. Yeah. Before I take a sip, your a news shot, is man. next. Good times. Mm. Oh, so good. The ginger beer. Yeah. Oh.